Well, this is a subject that I am incredibly interested in. If you look on my website, you can see that I have um, another playlist here that deals with wealth distribution. I've done a couple of videos on it. I've studied it. I'm really interested in it. Um, the current situation that we have in America right now is that 20% of Americans own 91% of America's wealth. That leaves 80% of us to try to make a country with 9% of everything that's left over. So really encourage you to go over to my site, check out the videos that I put in there. If I say, if we even mention this, if we even talk about it, this subject is sacred and conservative dogma. You don't even speak about wealth distribution. You're a communist, you're whatever, you're an ist of some kind, if you even bring this up. But if you stop and think about it for a minute, if unemployment, let's say maybe 20% of us don't work for some reason, that's an incredibly high amount, I don't think that's right. You know, maybe 10%, 10% of us don't work. So 90% of us work to make 100% of what America makes. But at the end of the day, we get 9% at the end. The thing about the wealthy, the highly, highly, highly wealthy in America is they are able to pay very low taxes. I'll get back to that in a minute because O'Reilly says they pay 50% tax. That's absolute crap. Absolute crap. They pay relatively low taxes in general, income taxes. They pay the majority of our budget every year. They pay the majority of the American tax burden every year. And they still own 91% of America. There's a problem here. There is a problem here. We do need to look into it. And people running around with this kind of crap is not helpful at all. We need to have a discussion on this subject in this country. It's not that hard. Um, so again, back to the tax. If you, if you just put in Warren Buffett... 17% tax in your search engine, you'll find Warren Buffett complaining because the top 400 in Americans in the year 2006, I believe, paid 17% tax. Warren Buffett complains that he's taxed at a higher, at a lower rate than his secretary. And so for him to say 50% tax is ridiculous. He goes through this thing, when I die, you come in my house and take stuff out of my house and give it to people who don't deserve it. Okay, he's talking about the estate tax. This applies only to people who make more than three and a half million dollars a year. Okay? That's a perfect example of, on a daily basis, this guy makes a lot of money to sit there and lie to the American people on a daily basis. It's what he does for a living. He lies for a living. Whether he knows he's doing it or not, I don't know. Maybe he really believes this stuff, but... How can you say there's 50% tax? How can you say, I guess he's worth more than three and a half million? I mean, that could be. He's worth three and a half mil more than that because he's sitting around lying to people all of the time. So, um, what percentage do the rich owe? He says that Michael Moore thinks it's 75%. We should put the rich at 75%. This wealth distribution thing you see all throughout their telecast. You'll see Glenn Beck getting into it. Um, Glenn Beck you know, will basically ask you, do you agree with this statement? If you take money from the rich, you can't make the poor richer. Boy. So that's the wealth distribution one. <laughs> 